Picking the correct strike price when selling options is key to maximizing your return, your overall long-term success, and the amount of cash you put in your pocket every month. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, how do you pick the strike price you should sell your naked put options and bullish put credit spreads at? Let's get started. First and briefly, what do we mean by an option strike price? For put options, the strike price is the price at which shares of a stock can be put or sold to the seller of the put option. This subject is the focal point of our discussion in this video. As you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I predominantly like to sell options. My favorite strategy is to sell a naked put option. So how do you go about picking the best option strike price to sell these options at? Here you see the daily and weekly charts of Walmart. As you can see, Walmart is trading near its moving averages on both time frames. On the left chart, the daily chart, you see that Walmart had reached a high of right around 152.5 per share, and it recently declined down to its red 200 moving average, which is right around $142. Over on the weekly chart, notice that Walmart had declined to the green 50 moving average. This is a snapshot of the chart on the day that we sold put options in Walmart, which was on November 19th. Let's talk through our potential choices of strike prices, the advantages and disadvantages of them, and then I'll share with you what strike price I chose and why I chose that strike price. The first thing I like to look at when I'm considering a potential potential trade is whether or not the stock tends to find support at its moving averages. Here we are looking at the exponential green 50 and red 200 moving average on the daily chart. There are a couple things I want to point out to you here. Notice during the last half of 2020 that the green 50 moving average continually served as support for Walmart. However, around the beginning of the year, Walmart broke below the green 50 moving average. At that point, we saw clearly that Walmart was no longer respecting the moving averages as support. In fact, it went well below the 200 moving average in February and March, but then in April, it broke out above both the green 50 and red 200 moving average. Since that time, for the most part of this year, except for on three occasions, the green 50 and red 200 moving average have served as support for. You see here that in May and July, those moving averages did not serve as immediate support, but within a couple days, back in May, and within a couple weeks in July, Walmart had bounced back and those moving averages were again serving as support for it. The one exception was in October when Walmart had a big decline below both those moving averages. But ironically, again, within several weeks, it rebounded above both the green 50 and red 200 moving average. That takes us to where we are at today. Again, we are back at the red 200 moving average. Whenever I'm looking to sell a put option, I like to ask myself, what can possibly happen to this stock? Now you're probably saying, well, Randy, this is a stock market. Absolutely anything can happen to a stock. And you know what? I agree with you. You're right. So let me rephrase that. What is most likely to happen to this stock that we're trading in? Because it's such an important question to answer and in helping us pick the proper strike price, let's go ahead and answer that question. By looking at the daily chart, I know that Walmart likes to find support at the green 50, and if that fails, the red 200 moving average. If both of those fail and it breaks below them, it then tends to come back within a month or at most two months to those moving averages. Because of that, we can now begin to make some forecasts. The nice thing about trading options is that we're kind of like a weather forecaster. We don't have to be 100% accurate in order to keep our job. But unlike a weather forecaster, if we are wrong, it can potentially cost us money. Of course, we want to be as accurate as possible, even though we're dealing with unknown future circumstances. But by looking at this chart, I can say that I feel pretty confident that if Walmart did continue to decline from here, it will most likely find support at the 135 area. The reason for that is because as you can see, this 135 price area, it has served as support for it multiple times. It has also served as resistance for it. So if I want to be really safe and be willing to accept a lower return, I'll feel really comfortable selling the 134 put option. The problem with that is that as you can see here, that 134 put is not selling for much premium at all. Now I'm doing this video on Tuesday, November 23rd. We've had one trading day between when we sold our put options and today. And Walmart did have a nice strong advance yesterday. So when we actually sold our naked put options at Walmart, this 134 put option was selling for more than it is now. But as you can see right now, it's only selling for 25 cents per share. If you run that non-leveraged, annualized return on capital for the 24 days that would at most be in this position, it only equates to a 2.8% return. So if you want to be safe and just get some cash, this will be a possibility for you. But let me talk you through my thinking, what we chose to do and the return that we realized from selling a put option in Walmart. I felt comfortable selling a put option just below the red to moving average at the 140 strike price. Now I've switched over to the 15 minute candlestick chart where you see the yellow arrow on November 19th at 1.47 p.m. Eastern time 
that's when we sold our 140 put option. Here you see that Walmart had recently made a higher high on the 15 minute chart. Now we can't always get everything lined up perfectly, but if Walmart haven't made a recent higher high, and then this green candle showing up after a sharp decline of multiple red candles, I went ahead and took a short put option position in Walmart. Here's the trade that we did. We sold to open the December 17th 140 put option. For that, we were paid $2.19 per share. We never know exactly how these things are gonna play out. But by using technical analysis, we're putting the odds of winning more in our favor. You see, by looking at technical analysis, we gain an edge by seeing what is most likely going to happen during the next couple of time periods. I knew that even though Walmart was experiencing a sharp decline, the history of it told us that the odds were in our favor that if it went below our 140 strike price within the next month or two, as long as some catastrophic event didn't happen, Walmart would most likely return to those moving averages. That's why I felt comfortable selling this 140 put option just below the red 200 moving average. So far, Walmart has performed nicely because as you can see here, this put option that we sold for $2.19 per share was only trading at $1.07 per share when the market closed last night. This could be a situation where you could grab a quick 50% profit and then move on, but I like to stay in my short put option positions a little bit longer than just 50%, especially when we have as much time value left in these options as we do in this Walmart option. But if you prefer to close your positions out with a 50% profit, you would have been able to do this after just one trading day. Now, all of our trades Trades don't turn out like this one is so far. This is just one of the most recent naked put option trades that we put on. That's why I wanted to show it to you. However, it's a nice example of the thought process that we go through in selecting which strike price we choose to sell a put option in. By the way, the day that we sold this put, November 19th, this put was 28 days until expiration. So the $2.90 per share that we received paid us an annualized non leveraged return on capital of 20.4%. I'll happily take that on a stable, consistently profitable and mature company like Walmart. If you were looking for a safer trade, willing to take a lower return, you should probably consider the 134 put option. I don't know what that option was selling for back on Friday when we did our trade, but I know it was a lot higher than 25 cents per share. So you would have got a better return than the 2.8%, but it wouldn't have been as high as our return because we're taking on more risk. The odds of the 140 put option going in the money are quite a bit higher than the odds of the 134 put option will go in the money. So it's really a decision on your part. Are you willing to take a lower return but have less risk that your put option that you sold will go in the money? Or are you wanting a higher return knowing that there's a higher probability that the put option you sold will go in the money and potentially be assigned to you if you didn't do something about it before all the time value was gone? That's the ultimate decision when it comes to picking a strike price. How much risk are you willing to take for the amount of return that you're being paid? By the way, if that was really useful what I just shared with you, then I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Now there's a lot more that goes into selling put options than what I've talked through in this video. In this video, we've only focused on strike price. To help you, I have a whole playlist on the techniques and strategies that you can use to initiate naked put option positions and how to adjust them when they go in your direction or even when they go against you. So when you're done with this video, if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that put option playlist down in the description below. If you'd like to receive alerts when we do trades similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on exactly how you go about selling naked put options, check out the video series at the link above and in the description below entitled, Selling Put Options Explained with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.